what's going on everybody um so i'm gonna show you guys how i ran my uh led flashers for my truck because i had a, a friend ask me how, how i did it so pretty much i didn't want to run another switch inside the truck so i ordered this box and this became my uh wireless switch and this box and then i order this box the maxima uh flasher this is what makes my uh, led lights flash so this other box powers this and this makes it flash so because all my lights were already being powered through a relay and a switch running inside the truck so therefore this light well let's say this light is connected with this light when I flick the switch both of them turn on so and now and so I could run a new uh, wire to flash them I had to run a new power wire which is let's say is this one right here and I run one for the left side of the truck one for the right side of the truck so the one with the white cable let's say it's the right side and the one with no uh, white stripe is uh, the other side so I hooked up one side of the truck to one of the wires, the other side of the truck to the other wire. And since let's just say I hooked it up with no uh, with no diodes, right? The current is gonna flow from the new flasher wire. When I turn on the flashers, the current is gonna come in through this wire and it's gonna go and it's gonna travel both ways into the light, into the LED light, and it's gonna travel all the way around to the other side and it's gonna power the other light as well because they're both connected because of the relay that powers them, they're both connected together. If you can see, this is the relay wire and it uh, is one wire, one red wire, and right here, it splits into two. So what this does is the current comes in from the flasher lights and it runs both ways on the red wire and it runs up back into the relay and it runs back into the other side of the truck through the other wire where it splits off. So in order to avoid that, you add a diode in here with the gray part facing towards the LED because the gray part means current can only flow towards where the gray part is. So that means only towards the LED. So that means the current is gonna come in through, the, through this wire, it's gonna come in and it's gonna try to go back, but the diode is there, so therefore the current is gonna stop there. It's not gonna continue flowing into the other side. Same on the other side. I have it right here. The wire, this is the, the relay wire that comes and powers it when I flick the switch on. And then this is the new flasher wire. And it comes in and it uh, gives it current, but the current, uh, again, is flowing back through the same wire. So therefore, is gonna both of these lights are gonna turn on together unless I cut them and in order for me to cut them I need to cut them somewhere and again I had a diode so the current won't flow from this light back into this other side and because this diode is facing this way that means the current coming back from this wire is gonna flow and it's gonna continue flowing into this side so even if I just did one side and had a diode here the current is going to flow because it's already coming from um, from from the new power wire. It's coming from the new power wire, so it's going to come in there. It's going to continue flowing all the way around and back into this side. So to avoid that, you add another diode here with the gray part facing the LED. So therefore, the when the flasher is on, the current comes in here. It goes through this wire, and as soon as it hits the diode, it can't go further than that so it only goes this way and therefore this side powers on separately with this side and so I'm gonna do that to um, I don't remember which lights I think I'm gonna well we we're, we were using this ones but this one's flashed together now I need to fix that the the fog lights they flash independently left side right side left side right side this one's flashed together no matter what so I'm gonna do that. So these are the ones that go into my fog lights. You see the diode coming in from here is the one for the new uh, flasher wire. This is the one for the left side and it has the, the, red, the red stripe on it. 
So the red stripe means, okay, it's coming in, power is coming in, it's going into this light, and it's flowing both ways through the red wire because there's no diode stopping it flowing that way. So it's flowing back to the other light and making this light flash with it because they're both connected from the original from the original relay wire so i need to add a diode after this wire because if i were to add it under it the current's still going to flow this way and it's going to flow down and it's going to flow up because there's nothing stopping it um, before before this diode that comes in with the new flasher power so i need to add it somewhere here or i could just add them somewhere over there where where the relay comes in but um so i won't get confused i add it here so i'm going to do i'm going to splice this add the diode gray wire uh the gray part of the diode facing the led so going down so the power comes in tries to go up and it can't so it only goes down and then same on this side cut it add a diode facing this way so the power comes in from this new flasher wire tries to go up and it doesn't so it just flows down and therefore they're both um they're both going to be powered independently left side right side but because the diode is facing this way and this is the, the relay wire and same on the other side is facing the led i can still flick the switch and turn them on the current is going to flow from the from where it tees off wherever it tees off and it's still going to flow this way because the diode is facing this way but you have to put it before um before the new power wire not uh further away from the led i guess because the diode is closer to the led so it has to be further uh, in order for it to take effect if you were to put it down here it's not going to work because um the current is going to flow this one it's still going to go up and in, into the other light so what you need to do is add it before facing uh the gray pyre uh the gray part of the diode facing down so the the power comes in can't flow up it has to flow down Same on the other side so i'm going to do that and i'll show you guys or you know what so you guys can see that they flash together. I'm just going to turn them on. You see they flash together. So after I cut that, I the diode, they're going to flash independently. Or they should. Alright, so let me show you how I put the diode in there. So of course it's not going to be like that. I'm going to finish it off. But as you can see, I cut the wire off and I put the diode in there. If it will focus. Um... Put it facing the gray part you can see on the diode. Put it facing the LED. And uh, let's go to the other side. Same thing. A gray part facing the, the LED. And now you guys can see they flash separate. They don't flash together anymore. And now they flash um, with the fog lights. So left side, right side. So that's pretty much it so I'm gonna finish it off tape it off and uh, should be good to go but that's how you wired uh, your LEDs with the flashers and a wireless remote well you know what <laughs> yeah pretty much that's it um, as far as connecting the remote it's pretty simple the remote comes with its own uh, with its own uh, directions there so you know what goes where. Uh, same with this thing. It tells you right there on the box what goes where. And it comes with instructions. So it's pretty much self-explained. The only thing you need to do is run a power wire from the battery. So uh, make sure you have a fuse, inline fuse, um, ready for this stuff, which I think is uh, 30 amps, 20 amps. I think it's, this thing is ready for 20 amps. Uh, it's 10 amps per side. So if you do the math, um, you divide the volts by the amount of it's, um, 12 volts, which is because you're running off a battery, divided by the amount of uh, watts or amps. I don't remember. Uh, anyways, it can run 10 amps per side and i'm running right just around there on each side of the truck so it works perfect for my setup so if you have any more questions just leave a comment i'll try to answer it thanks